This is a quick tutorial on how to log into Teach Hub. From schools.nyc.gov, you can click on Teach Hub, and that will bring you to the login page. You also can go to ps221q, period org, and you can click on Teach Hub, and that will bring you to the login page. Now, if you forgot your password, what you're going to do is you're going to go down here, it says Parent Links, and right here, how to set how to reset your Teach Hub password. You're going to click on that. There's a few different ways you can reset your password. If you already created a PIN, you can do this one, Student Self Service. The schools cannot create a PIN for you. You have to create your own PIN prior to getting locked out. So if you already created a PIN, you can do step number one. If you did not create a PIN and you've been locked out, you're going to go to NYCSA and you're going to click on this one. Okay. If you still can't reset your password, then you're going to contact the schools, and the, sco the schools use this third link. Again, if you can't if you can't log into TeachUp, you forgot your password. You're going to scroll down here, Parent Links, how to reset your TeachUp password, and from here you're going to try the NYCSC, NYCSA to reset your passcode. And if that doesn't work, you can try um, number three, which would be the school would do it for you. Number one is only for people who already created a PIN. Once you're at the Teach Up page, you click on Teach Up and you're ready to log in. You're going to put your username on the top and then you're going to put in your password. Once you're inside Teach Up, you have access to many different resources. Here I'm on My School and we have many of the resources that we use at our school right here. These are the ones that we use the most, but you also can go to K-12 and you see there's even more resources if you go to K-12. We have many different resources here in K-12. If you go to elementary school, we also have many resources there as well. So there's lots of different resources that you can use. If you go to home, it will have the ones that you use most often. And my school will have the ones that we use most often as well. Okay? So we have many different uh, resources that you can use. If you click on Google Classroom, that will bring you to Google Classroom. If you click on uh, Microsoft Office 365, that will bring you to PowerPoint, Excel, and Word. You can also have access to InterReading, HMH Everywhere, and Think Central. Clever is how you're going to have access to iReady. So let's take a look at Clever. And you don't have to sign in. Again, it will just go right in for you. Once you're inside Clever, then you're going to go to iReady right here. So you're going to go to Clever, and then you're going to go to iReady. And then once you're inside, you can click either reading or math to do. So that's how you can access iReady. And to access, again, TeachUp, when you're in TeachUp, if you want to access Google Classroom, it's right here. Those are the ones we use the most. And the students can also access HMH Anywhere, InterReading, Think Central, Zoom, we have over here. And like I said, there's more resources over here as well if you want to look at those. And we also have some under elementary school. So that's a quick introduction to TeachUp.